I think it's a really good point because for me, this was a job I wanted. You know, I think in the past, there's been some really great coaches have come through here at Gormaya, but I think some of them, it was a job that got presented to them. They assessed it in that short period that we normally do and thought, okay, let me go and do that job. Whereas for me, Kogalo is a team I've been aware of for quite a significant amount of time, going back to my days even in Sierra Leone, but most definitely during my time in Rwanda, where we had Abuba Sibamana, Jack Tuasenge, uh, Medi Kagere. You know, players like that were here. So even back in 2015, 2016, a connection started to develop with the club where I became more aware of maybe the significance of Gormaya. I was aware of the club beforehand, watching them on TV from Sierra Leone, but in Rwanda, I became more aware of the significance and the size of the club. And ever since then, and I remember coming and watching the Mashemeji Derby here back in 2016 um, to watch Abuba and to watch Jack Tsutuasenge. And I remember coming to the game and I came away from the game at Kasarani. It finished in a draw. Um, I think Frank Natal was the coach at the time. And I came away from the game thinking, if there's an opportunity to coach this team in the future, I would like to coach this team. You know, and that was specifically about Kogalo. It wasn't about AFC. That was the other team that I'd seen that day. And it was a big crowd, big attendance, you know, big atmosphere. And it would have been easy to fall on either side of that line. But for me, I came away from the game thinking, yeah, that green jersey almost was beckoning me. And I didn't know if, if it would come, but I always said if there was the right moment for the club and for myself, that I would walk towards that, I would run towards it. And so when I became aware that the club, the opportunity to join this club would be there, I started looking at the team, I started doing my research, speaking to people. And I'll be honest with you, almost everybody said, don't go. People inside of Kenya, outside of Kenya said, you do not want to take the Gormaya job now. From where you're coming from, from the national teams, from the club teams you've had, everyone was saying, why would you want to take that? It's so big a risk to your profile, to your career. This is a team that's finished eighth, finished third. They've fallen away. They're no longer the dominant force. Yet you go in and you will be expected to win every day. And under a transfer ban, you know, the issues we had swirling around the club, even within Kenyan football, I would say 90% of people who I spoke to about this job said, don't go, don't go. But I knew what I can bring. I'm always confident in what I can bring. And I looked at the situation here at Kogalo and I said, they need someone who can bring them together, who can put them together like a jigsaw, the way you described it. And who also, you know, if I'd just come here because I was offered the job, I might have been frustrated. I might have maybe complained more early when we had so many challenges. As you know, when we had in the first summer, when we had seven players at training some days in pre-season because of the financial issues. And even some people within the club said, look, we might as well cancel training. You can't do anything with seven players. But for me, I'm like, no, my job is to take what I have here and make it better. So even if it's those seven players today, let's give them the best training session we can give them so that when we get the rest of the guys, when we're able to bring players in, that we're not playing catch up, that we're ahead. And we're gonna instill this belief within the players that if you want to be here, stay and work. But if you don't want to be here, this is not prison, you can leave. And, and that was my approach as well. I wanted to be here and so even with all the challenges, I was choosing this. No one was making me be here. And I think because of that, we were able to plot always a forward path. And, and thankfully, you know, a young group of players came with me on that. And a, a staff came with me and said, hey, you know, if the coach is always thinking forward, then let us also think forward. And, and that's helped us along the way. So yeah, for me, it was a job I wanted. And because of that, I was always determined to come out on the other side of it being successful.